Hey, I'm Stu Smith. People often ask me about doing calisthenics mixed with weights, doing other types of uh, products. One thing I have found is the TRX, actually made by a former Navy SEAL buddy of mine, and I call it Fitness in a Bag. And I love this thing. I wrote an article about it on my website. <clears throat> they sent me one of these things to try out. And I actually got rid of about 400 pounds of weight equipment, a bench, a squat rack, and I replaced it with this thing. And I'm gonna show you why right now. Let me show you how you hook this thing up. Grab yourself a pull-up bar. You can also do it on a door jam if you want. Wrap this thing a couple times, hook it in here. I don't know if you ever jumped out of an airplane, but this looks just like a static line. The guy who invented this was a uh, parachute rigger in the Navy. All right, so there's a few exercises I want to show you. This one I use as a as a warm up to my to my workout, but it can also be a workout for you too if you make it a little harder. Now I like to mix in everything into this workout. I lean back like 45 degree angle. Now the further you lean back, the harder this is going to get when you're doing a row, obviously. For right now I'm just going to show you. 45 degree angle lean with, uh, I'm gonna mix a squat with a row on this one. So it's a squat and a row. I'm gonna lean back just a little more. So squat and row. I need to do like five to 10 of these, right? And all you're looking for is squat, pull yourself right through the handles like that. Now, next one I go into, still doing a squat, warming up the legs, I'm gonna do a bicep curl. So squat and a bicep curl. And do once again five to ten of these. The more you do, the more it becomes a workout and not a warm-up. Now next, <clears throat> gonna do a squat with a reverse fly. Gonna work the upper back. Squat and reverse fly. Squat, reverse fly. You're gonna feel that in between the shoulder blades. Oh, good one. <clears throat> now, another one I like to do is the high row. This one looks like a squat, and you take it straight up. Squat, and take it straight up. I'll tell you what, you're definitely using your abs and lower back and your upper body in this one. Good, all rear, rear deltoid exercises. Those are the first four I like to do. Then I like to flip it around. Now, notice this, this is just like a push-up. Stability's gone, so you got to really focus on keeping your arms stable. So if you notice, this is just like a bench press. You want to make it a little harder, bring it on down this way. Now you're doing more like a body weight exercise. Okay. And once again, five to ten of those. Now bring it up out here. We're going to stretch it out. Oh, good tricep stretch here. Now we're just going to do a tricep extension. And this one, you will really feel. If you're trying to get rid of those bingo arms, this will do it for you. Really work the back side of your arms well, stretching and flexing. All right, the grand finale I call the atomic push-up. Actually, I don't call it that. They do. It's a great exercise. I have done this one before in a few videos, but basically you're suspended and you're doing a push-up, but you're going to add in a knee up version of that. You can do this five, ten times. You can make it a pike pose, still do your push-up, come out to the left, come out to the right, back and forth. That and looks like a lot of fun. Once again, <laughs> <laughs> once again, uh, this, it does create a stir when people see you do it. So, I've never been winded doing abs before until I used this TRX. It's a fun little exercise. I highly recommend it. Check out my website, stusmith.com. Go onto the site map. And you'll see an article I wrote where I compare this device with 
a $1,200 uh, Olympic weight set. And uh, you can do so much more. In fact, I'm still counting all the extra exercises I can do on this thing. Right now I'm about 250. So hang in there, good luck, keep moving. Fitness is a journey, not always a, um, a destination. So remember, live to compete, not just survive. Stu Smith out.